Hello guys, my name is Alec Candiotis and I'm here to show, show you a quick overview of the third party reporting available in the MyBI app. MyBI app is a automated reporting tool and uh, it works on any, any Pastel Partner, Pastel Express or Sage 50 Cloud environment. Okay, to shoot off into the app, this is all the reports that are available and the standard reports which we are used to are not necessarily third party ready. So this is great for any management team or any auditor wanting to have real grip of transactional data. But if we wanted to just report to the banks or just send some management reports out to, uh, you know, just for some monthly reviews or quarterly reviews, it can be quite difficult because this is more an interactive environment. Right. So then what we have built in is what we call the third party reporting. So that's more what we are used to when we see PDF reports. So if you go into this icon here, it's called third party reports. You click there and it brings you through to the actual uh, front page. And here it says what will be included in it. And you can also um, then uh, access it from here. So if you look at this type of balance sheets, it's far more standard with the years at the top, two columns. It's been rolled up. It doesn't have any kind of show months, hide months, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, uh, you know, but we do include something nice here, which is the dashboard. Right. So um, anyway, I'm just going to go back there. Um, so two important things that you can quickly issue is a PDF. If you wanted to set, if you wanted to quickly issue PDFs that, that can be sent out, or if you wanted to actually take it out to Excel for you to then further work on, some people actually like to manipulate a little bit to say, well, I want to color this in, or I want to work a bit with it, and then send it out for a report or actual review. They know there's one or two journals that still need to be put through and they would like to do that in an Excel environment. All right, so there we go. That's uh, now going to be uh, publishing for us a PDF set of management accounts. And what is going to publish is as at 2001. So this is one of our demo databases. And uh, it's just got demo data up to Jan 2020. So there it's published. Once it's once it comes in, if you look at this now, it's done 18 pages for us. And if you go and st scroll through it, first page, uh, which is on the index here on the front page, is a dashboard. And then the next page is the balance sheet and the income statement by quarter. And then the income statement by month for the current year and for the previous year. And then it goes property, plant and equipment and extended balance sheet. This is a deeper level up to level four. And then we've got our debtors balances, which balances back to the balance sheet. Again, nice because you've got stuff. You don't have to rebalance. It's already balanced because it's a data principle. You know, it's done for you. Um, as long as you're, you know, the environment, you, you can focus on actual reporting on time and making sure that your mapping is right and making sure you capture, you know, nice and, 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 uh, and, and deep data, which is nice to review. Right. So we can even do segmental reporting here. This specific data, this specific database doesn't have any segments, but you can add segments. You can say, well, this is my Pretoria branch, my Joburg branch, etc. Okay. So then to go back, if you wanted to now go and issue a, a different month, you can also go and slice it back and say, oh, I actually wanted to issue for uh, November 2019. It then slices back for you everything. And then you can go back here and now you will have uh, a, no, a November set of statements, which if you look at the dashboard, it only goes up to the ninth period, which would be because this is a financial year in August, it'll only go up to the ninth period. Uh, oh, sorry, it's a financial year in February. So the ninth period would be November. Okay, so it's quick then to change your dates. Then if you wanted to export anything quickly, you can just say, I want to export the balance sheet. It opens a different workbook for you. And here you can obviously go and manipulate or change or add whatever you need to do um, and that you can do for every one of them. I want to do my quick, my income statement prior year and it goes into the same workbook as a separate sheet. And then also want to go into my current uh, monthly income statement for my current year. There we go. Now you've got that also that you can work on it and do whatever you want to as per normal Excel usage year. Again, we can't change anything. This is an app that is, fully uh, 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 that is that is only for a review tool yeah I can't type anything it will just block me all right hope you guys enjoy that that's called the third party feature and by the way it then stores that PDF in your Dropbox environment which is where the, your my BI app sits and you can then send that on to whomever needs it okay hope you enjoyed it cheers guys